So, big news. Eat those yummy spinaches. Big news. <laughs> All right, there we go. Made it to Frisco, Colorado, getting that high altitude training in the lungs, in the legs. Night, what is it? Uh, there it is on your screen in meters, 9,097 feet, I believe is what the sign said. And then I'm going to be running uh, to the south, actually, up to Breckenridge, Colorado, which is right around 9,600 feet. So uh, I'm going to be going out. Uh, I, I'm guessing that the total elevation gain will be about 1,000, maybe 1,200 feet of elevation gain for the day all right uh recruiting those red blood cells and uh it is a little windy out but that's all right no such thing as uh no no bad weather just bad clothing as the saying goes all right let's let's get ready get going and yes i am taking the nike vomero 14s out on the road today all right let's do this Woo. oh man it was early oh i parked at a coffee shop because as soon as the run is over, I'm zipping right into that coffee shop, getting me a nice hot latte. You better believe it. Oh, yeah. And now I'm just walking right in. There we go. And we're back. Oh, so much to talk about. It's, uh, it's a little crazy, a little crazy right now, everyone. All right. I said this two months ago. Step number four, find your race, okay? Rubber hits the road. It's actually time to start finding your race that you're gonna register for, but uh, register for a race that is in your genre, in your niche of running that you really, really enjoy. That's right, it helps to have a race to strive for. But I said this five days ago. And so I'm just trying to stay calm and keep in perspective this whole global situation. But I get it because with the coronavirus, we don't have the vaccine. There, you know, hopefully as, as a global uh, world, like working together, like the Olympics, it brings the world together. I hope uh, the governments are working well together to help come up with a vaccine to take care of the coronavirus. But it's a big no. It is a big no. Any event in Germany, from what I understand, listening to the news, uh, and by the way, thank you to everyone. I was sitting in my car this morning at 6 a.m. and my phone was just blowing up. From everyone in Europe, thank you for letting me know. In Germany, all across, all across Europe, really, uh, the breaking news that the Hamburg Marathon is canceled. So any event in Germany with over 1,000 people is off the table right now in Germany based on the news that I've read thus far today. And so as this news was breaking, I'm in my car this morning, tying my shoes, getting ready to go run 23 miles at 9,000 feet above sea level. And that was 
hard. Uh, mentally, I was already a little, not nervous for the 23 mile long run, but I haven't been running at high elevation really since last fall. Uh, so I knew the run was, and plus the elevation gain, which sure enough, it ended up being 1000 feet of elevation gain, a little over. I was like, man, this is not the news I wanted to hear literally as I'm tying my shoes to hop out the car and go run and it was cold and it was windy. So this is a mental test uh, and, a, and really how bad do you want it type of approach when I was, okay, I'm closing the door, let's go. And by the way, I did not film too much on the run because I knew I needed to stay focused mentally. I couldn't stop and get a bunch of shots. I got some shots for all of you, but I wanted to do more, but I knew like, okay, I got to stay in the zone here. I need to keep my cadence up. I need to block out uh, some of these negative thoughts about, okay, the race that I registered for, well, I guess two months ago is now postponed. I should say it's not canceled yet. Postponed though, it might as well in my mind be canceled because I live so far away. Like I can't go fly back to Europe in June. I've got other races on the calendar or in October or November or whenever they end up maybe putting it back on the table. So let's break down the 23 mile long run real quick. Here we go. Uh, 1000 feet of elevation gain, 725 per mile was the average pace. Uh, again, uh, let's see here. I'm um, just pulling it up on Strava. I don't really do this uh, too much. The average gap, which is the new feature, uh, grade adjusted pace was 715 a mile. I think they count in the elevation gain into that. Uh, cadence was 183. Again, I, I had to focus mentally on, okay, I got to fight here because this is a little hard. It's windy, it's muddy, it's snowy, and my marathon is off the table. So I was really focused on that cadence. And again, I'm just wearing the uh, Polar Vantage V, no heart rate monitor, no foot pod, just the watch. I keep it simple. I keep it simple. An average heart rate was 130 uh, beats per minute. Max heart rate was 150. So whatever that means. It says I was in zone two for all the heart rate zone two. Uh, you know what that means. I don't really know what that means. Zone two uh, for 80% of the run. Uh, and I guess, okay, for power, 245 for power. Again, all through the watch, not through a foot pod. And I did run in the Nike Vimera 14s. They treated me well. Um, I enjoyed them. I, uh, I guess I always prefer the Asics Glide Ride at this point for a long run. Uh, I didn't want to... Basically, I knew the run was not going to be crazy fast uh, because of the elevation and the elevation gain. So I'm saving the glide rides for a little more up-tempo, uh, long run type of feel. And the Vimero 14s, they just got the job done. And yes, they are now officially trashed with mud. Solid run there. And fast forward, so right after the run, went into the coffee shop. My legs were, they weren't crazy barking at me, but I could feel the run, absolutely. But now, fast forwarding uh, three hours later, four hours later, I feel pretty good actually. So it'll be interesting to see because the next test will be Friday morning. It's supposed to be raining and uh, rain and snow Friday morning in Denver. So that'll be interesting, but will be the baby threshold run. So all, all um, uh, energy and focus now is on recovery and getting ready for that threshold run on Friday morning. I could go on and on about the run. I was going to tell you, but yeah, physically, mentally, and strategically, um, yeah, it was kind of an adventure because I was unable to run on this bike path like I had hoped because of the snow, but that's okay. Anyway, question of the day. Here we go. Two options, two options, and I think this will help everyone. Oh, man. And all eyes, all eyes on London and Boston. London and Boston, all eyes, all Talk about pressure. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Question of the day. Has your marathon been canceled? If so, do you have a backup plan? That's option one. Option two, help me out. I need your help. What can be my marathon between mid-April and early May, I'm going to say, mid-April to early May? What ideas do you have for me? Because option plan B now has to be put onto the table and, and okay, my preference would be Europe. I will race in America, but my preference is Europe because I still do believe if London is canceled, that they will still have the elite race. I do believe I really would be shocked if they canceled the elite race with the Kale versus Kipchoge. We cannot have that happen. But again, it's up to the race directors and the scientists and the doctors and 
We it's a it's an it's a literally evolving not by day but by hour at this point. So what ideas do you have for me for a backup marathon now? Oh, what are you gonna do? I will say the Irving Half Marathon in Texas in two and a half weeks, my tune-up race for now is still on. That gets me really excited. Oh my goodness, can you believe this? It's wild. I don't think the world, you know, like with SARS and Ebola, and I just don't, I don't think this happened. I don't remember this happening. Probably because, I don't know. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you for helping out, not just me, but everybody down in the comments. And guess what? I haven't even told uh, True Love yet that the Hamburg Marathon is uh, postponed, canceled. It's basically canceled in my books because I just can't fly to Germany whenever I want. So it's for me, it's 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 off the table. But let's go tell True Love. Oh my goodness, it's wild. But we're gonna make through. We're gonna get through this together. We will get through this together, everyone. <coughs> oh my goodness, here we go. Well, I think they're all the same. This okay. is Michael's. Okay. So you can kind of see what's inside. Oh, and you are brilliant. Wow. So, big news. Eat those yummy spinaches. Big news. You want to go to your crib? Okay, then you got to enjoy dinner. What? Is that, um, don't touch your face. I just touched my face. <laughs> no Hamburg Marathon. No Hamburg Marathon. Wow. It's ca it's postponed. Why? Oh, so, I'm so sad. Why? 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 Because I of the break. coronavirus around the world. But I've already got backup plans. Okay. It's in the works. Okay. I haven't told YouTube yet. I mean, but, they've got to do what they think is best for the safety of, of people. All um, events over a thousand people are canceled in Germany. Wow. So it's there's I think there's eight or nine thousand. No, maybe there's I don't even know. There's a lot of runners oh, wow. in Hamburg. Wow. But so anyway, huh? Are we're gonna come sad? up with it. I disappointed. It, at before the long run this morning, I was getting text messages and people, <gasps> people on the ground yeah, in telling Germany, me like telling it's canceled, oh it's canceled. Gosh, oh my gosh! And we it was, love you, people. Yeah, telling thank us, you for keeping me listen, informed. Listen, I am sad and disappointed because it's like that's the goal you were working towards. Yeah. But I obviously we want every person to be safe. Yeah. And and even the precaution of being, you know, a, an abundance of caution it is not to be taken for granted. Yeah. Here. <gasps> but we will overcome. Yeah. And I've already got backup plans. Is the backup in Europe or, or in the states? Okay, I will say, I will say the backup plan is in Europe. Okay. But I'm not going to announce it yet. All right, Europe. So, so and thing. the question of the day is, what backup plans do we have? Wow. So everyone's pulling through in the comments. Listen, you have we have a good YouTube family. Yeah, oh. it's it's gonna work. Oh. Huh? So isn't that crazy? That's, you know, that's very disappointing. Yeah. But it's also, it's I'm glad they called it this early. Yeah. At least it allows you to figure something else yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, everyone, there we go. Dishes are going, dinner is done. Tossing it back to the 2020 racing goal vlog right there where I talk about the process of setting up your uh, peak races for 2020, but now we gotta go back to the drawing board. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.